you're a marketer or a business owner and have a website, it is likely that you will want to have maps on your website, especially if you are based in a major city. Businesses with physical locations prefer to add their location details or map directions on their contact page on the website. Now you may ask, why do I need to add map details on my website? Well, it helps customers or website visitors get to the directions of your business and it saves the customers the efforts of opening a new browser window and leaving your website. Your business contact information is very easy to find as the data embedded on Google Map provides your business address, phone number, website, directions, reviews, and other things. The map can also keep visitors on your site for a longer amount of time. Hi guys, this is Jaswin Valia from Team Learn Today and in this SOP, we will learn how to embed maps on your WordPress website using Elementor. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Once you have landed on your WordPress dashboard, the first thing that you would want to do is create a new page in which you would want to add the map directions on, in which you would want to embed the Google Maps on. So it could be your contact page. It could also be your home page. What I'm going to do in this SOP is create a sample page for you to understand how to embed Google Maps using Elementor. So from your left sidebar, go to pages and select the page that you would want the map directions on. I am just going to create a new page. Now we'll just write sample map directions here. Now all you have to do is scroll down a little bit and edit with Elementor. Awesome. So once you have landed on your Elementor editor page, in the left hand side, you will find all of these widgets, right? So out of all of these widgets, you will also find Google Maps right here. So what we will do is we will first of all create a structure. So click on this plus icon and select the structure. First of all, I'm going to show you how you can add a Google Map in the one sectioned structure that we have. You can also select any of these things and add the map as well. For example, if you want to add a few details about your um, address, a few details about your business alongside the map, you can add any of these sections with it. So I will click on the one section structure and it's right here. Click on this plus icon and this will bring out the widgets. Select the Google Maps, drag and drop it here. Awesome, how easy that was, right? As you can see, the location is stated as London I, London United Kingdom. We want to change it. So what we'll do is delete this and add the location that you want to add. For example, right now, I'm just going to add Bangalore. And as you can see, it starts to appear. You can also try to be a little specific with it. For example, let me just type Kormangala. Bangalore. And as you can see, Kormangla Bangalore will start to appear. Now you can select how much you want to zoom in the map. For example, if I zoom into 14, it will just show the Kormangla area. However, if I zoom into 10, it will show the whole of Bangalore. So let's just keep it at Let's see, 16, or I think 14 was better. So as you can see, the whole of Kormangla area will start to show. If you are specific with it, of course, you can zoom in a little bit more. Now let's check out the height. As you can see, you can start to increase height. You can make your map as big as you want. I'm just going to keep it at 286. That's good. Let's check out the style area okay so in the style section you have normal where you can select some of the css filters for example you can increase or decrease the brightness let's decrease the brightness a little bit yep that's good you can keep it a little more saturated okay 
and then when you go to hover now this is not a compulsory or necessary thing to do but i just like to add some um hover or animation or transitions as much as i can because i like it so when you click on these css filters you can go ahead and you can increase the brightness a little bit so what will happen is keep the transition duration as 0 0.4 so what will happen is when i go and i hover my cursor here will start to go like this so it's too bright i think we'll keep it at 97 yep all right so when if a visitor is interested to look at your map and when they hover their cursor like this they will get to see the map clearly and more bright now let's look at advanced if you want a little more space between your widgets or uh, just increase the padding you can go ahead and you can do this or you can add some padding i'll keep this at three and i'll add some padding as you can see the map starts to as you can see there's some space right here right so there's some margin added and there's some padding added as well the rest i think is pretty good i don't i don't really want to do anything with the rest of the effects but you can go ahead and you can check out some of the motion effects some of the background if you want to change the background type you can do that so yeah you can go ahead and check it out on your own and see if anything suits you now once you are happy with the map that you have added all you have to do is hit on publish and you will be good to go so let's click on publish from here and your page is live let's have a look as you can see the map starts to appear now let's try that this particular thing with a two sectioned um page which we would want two sectioned structure so click on the plus button and yep here so i can add the google maps here and over here i can maybe add like a heading or a button or an icon or a form whatever you want to add i'll go with a text editor so here you can add your address and instead of this i would like to add a heading That's it. Now I will just hit on update. And I click on this preview changes icon over here. And there you go. As you see, you can create a contact us page or you can edit your homepage with Elementor and just add your Google Maps. Hope you guys were able to add Google Maps on your website with the help of this SOP. If you guys want to learn more about digital marketing or WordPress websites or any other digital marketing tool, then keep watching this channel. I will be coming up with a lot of such videos. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit on that like button, subscribe button, along with the notification bell icon so that you can get updates on whenever we come up with new videos if you have any questions any queries or any suggestions for some other video that we can add to this channel feel free to put them in the comment section down below this is just Walia, and i will see you in our next sop